Hey, welcome back. We don't want to be doing math operations all the time, like Python is just a fancy calculator. Right? We want to store data, and the concept of variables is going to help us out. So let's let's check out what a variable is. So you can you can think of a variable as like a box, right? And we got to give the box a name. So we got we got to give a variable a name, and the box is going to store one value, just one value. I can't emphasize that enough. So, uh, you know, again, you can think of a variable as a box, and then we're going to put the one value inside the box. So, for example, I've got football on the brain right now, and so um, maybe I'll say uh, QB is my variable. Okay? And there are some rules about what you can and cannot use for variable names, and we'll get, we'll get there in a second. But my variable name is going to be QB, and I want to store the value 12 in the QB. Okay, so the way I'm going to do that is using an assignment statement. So I'm going to say QB equals 12. Now you'll see I use some white space there in between the equal signs. Uh, th that's optional. Okay, usually the white space helps readability, so I'll, I'll usually put that in. But anyway, I'm, so I'm putting QB equals 12. That's called an assignment statement. I'm going to hit enter, and it looks like it didn't do anything, okay? But it actually did. And uh, I want to point that out to you because if we go to the variable explorer, okay, variable explorer, you'll see that in memory now is a variable name, QB, and it's storing the value 12. So anytime I want to like access the value of QB, I can just type QB. And look, I type QB and hit enter, and it gives me back 12. So again, you can think of now QB as being a box, and it's storing the value 12. And maybe I'll, um, I'll, I'll choose another variable, maybe a, a football. Okay, I'm going to call this box football, or this variable football, and I'm going to assign it. Uh, the value maybe three, okay, and hit enter. So you'll see then in my variable explorer, in memory now is also football, and it has the value three. Now before we go any farther, I want to point out that assignment statements, okay, where we're using the equal sign, um, you have to have the name of the variable on the left and the value on the right. Unlike math class, the two sides of the equal sign are not created equal. So we could not say 3 equals football. That doesn't make sense because 3 is not, we can't use 3 as the name of a variable. But we can say football equals 3. And so again, uh, the point here is that the name of the variable goes on the left of the equal sign, and the data that it's supposed to hold goes on the right of the equal sign. Now, all of the operations that you know can can hold or you know can work with QB and football now. So with again with QB and football in memory, I can do things like um, QB divided by football is four, right? Four point zero. Twelve divided by three is four, right? QB times football, and I can do all these operations. Four times three, uh, excuse me, three times twelve. Okay, so I can do all those operations um, like like we're used to. Okay, I can do something kind of interesting here. QB equals QB plus two. So before I hit enter, think about what that might give us. What the, and pause the video if you like. But what this is going to do is it's going to assign to my QB box, my QB variable, the the current contents of QB which is 12, and then added to that 2, so it's going to say 14 is now the new QB. So this is kind of interesting. When I push enter, you'll see now QB is 14. And so if I did that again, right, if I, if I did that command again, what would the new QB value be? Yeah, 16, right, because it takes the value, the current value of 14 plus 2, and now it's 16. So I could keep doing that, and it would keep going up by 2, which is kind of interesting. Right. Um, 
so let's get to the variable names now. Can I can I just choose so uh, anything I want? Like I've been using uh, QB and I've been using football. All right, what well, what are the you know the 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 rules here? Now there are a couple rules and and the rules for I'll, I'll type it over here. Rules for variable names. Okay, first of all. Um, it cannot contain spaces. All right, so let's just check it out. Remember, remember that errors are okay. They're not going to break your computer. So let's say I want to make a variable name called wide receiver and set it equal to 80. Okay, so my variable name here has a space. So let's see what happens in that case. I get a syntax error. It's like, nope, you can't do that. And you'll see wide receiver is not in memory because it could not parse that. So uh, we're not going to do that. Instead, you know, we have a couple options. We, we could like, we could have an underscore there. Wide receiver equals 80. That's fine. There it is. Or we could use like another common construct here is to use a capital R with nothing in between then. And we could do that. But notice those, those two variables since they have different um, you know different different names they are different variables in memory so you see that okay so we cannot contain spaces in our uh, variables and it can only use letters numbers and the underscore letters I'll say only only letters numbers and underscores, all right, and you see an underscore here, right there, right? And we could all, and then the, the last rule is that it can't begin, cannot begin with a number. Can't do that. So I can't say like, even though I can say um, w, WR1 equals 80, right? That's, that's allowed. I cannot say 1WR equals 80. That's not allowed, and I get a syntax error. Also, I should point out that capitalization matters, right? So uh, WR1 equals 80 is different than WR1 lowercase equals 80, and you can, they're, they're both allowed, and you can see, though, in, um, in memory, I have two variables there, WR1. Uh, where's wr1 hmm. I don't know why that's not showing up but uh, it's there see I can type wr1 and uh, it is 80 or I can set it equal to let's say 20 right I don't know why it's not showing up there that's that's curious but it is in memory so I can type you know wr1 and it outputs 20 because it is in memory, and I can type lowercase wr1 and hit enter, and it outputs 80 because it is currently in memory as 80. Alright, in the next video, we're going to look at uh, different types of variables, like numbers, as we've been using, um, decimals, uh, decimals and integers are different types of numbers, but also we can have characters and strings, right? All of our data is not going to be numerical, certainly not. So we're going to look at that in the next video. I'll see you then.